Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Grundig M400 Mini Shortwave Radio Receiver. So thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Grundig M400. Um, I've heard a lot of good and bad reviews on this radio. I'm going to give you my experiences from using it for about two years now. It lives in my travel bug out bag. You know, I carry it with me when we go on trips. It's sort of a bug home bag, so it's not as big as my main bug out bag. And I've used it for many trips, you know, to listen to the radio or mess around when I'm bored, listen to shortwave, and it's always performed very well. And I do have something else that I've added to it to make it a little bit uh, better a performer on shortwave. But first I'm going to go through the specs with you. It's uh, obviously an ultra compact radio. It covers AM, which is 520 to 1700 kilohertz, FM, which is 87 to 108 megahertz, and shortwave has two bands. Now they say two bands, but it's a pretty broad band spectrum that they're talking about. The first band is 5.9 to 10 megahertz, and the second band is 11.65 to 18 megahertz. So that's a whole lot of shortwave area you're getting on this little tiny radio. Um, you know, it's not a full coverage receiver, it doesn't have sideband. But if you like to listen to shortwave shows, um, this is perfect for you. It's got an analog circuit with a digital display. Okay, let me explain that to you. That means that the tuning wheel here is physically moving a tuner somewhere, and the digital display is displaying it. It is not digital tuning. So when you're doing it, you really have to go slow, or you'll jump right by where you want to tune into. Uh, the frequency display is it's the nearest 1 kilohertz on AM and 5 kilohertz on shortwave. And there's a built-in clock alarm radio. I don't have the clock set right now. Uh, being that I store this in my bug out bag, I do not store batteries in it. It's been known to draw batteries down. If you store batteries in it, I assume the clock just sucks up a lot of power. The right side of the radio has a tuning knob and a power lock button to prevent you from... Um, Turning the radio on and off. There's the lock and the tuning. There's the lock. There's the tuning. Okay. Uh, it's built in. I told you it's built in a long clock. It's uh, got an earphone jack on the top panel, and the size of it's under half an inch. I mean, that's like an iPhone. That's a really small AM/FM shortwave radio. It's got a four-ohm speaker, about 40 millimeters wide. You know, so I mean, it's and for the small speaker, it's got really, really good. Um, sound quality on FM. On AM it's the same thing. And again, I'm going to display, I'm going to show you AM and FM in here, but because I have very, very bright lights and above me is a fluorescent, it's probably not going to do the best on AM or shortwave, but we'll give it a try anyway. Okay. Um, as I said, I've used the alarm on trips. It works well. It's just a beep, but it does wake you up. And as I told you before, I've used it on trips to listen to shows and I've never had problems with frequency drift or high battery drain because again I take the batteries out when I'm not using it but frequency drift for those that don't know is when you set it on let's say it's 14.4 uh, megahertz and you come back and it's on 14.3, 14.2, 14.1 just drifts on its own. Now some of that in the original Eaton versions, this is a Grundig version, Eaton made this originally um, is because this tuner over here is too tight. The wires, whatever is moving the tuner, probably is too tight and it's pulling a little bit, you know, and of course the digital display will display it. Uh, it's got excellent AM FM radio um, reception. It doesn't distort even with close state with close by stations. Um, I have a uh, we have a local station here, KNYE, and the antenna is probably four miles from my house. No distortion, no splatter. Speaker is definitely good enough to listen to music on. Never had a problem with speaker. And for 17 bucks, I mean, you know, I paid, I think, 17 and change for this. Now it's as low as 15. You really can't go wrong with it. You know, I've been really happy with it. And at that price, for a shortwave receiver, you can't go wrong. So I'm going to mess around with it here. I'm going to give you a quick look. First thing I'm going to do is turn it on. And put the FM antenna up because we're going to try FM first. All right. There's the power button. I don't want shortwave. There's FM. A little loud. Of the valley. 
And as you can tell, that right there is the one that's four miles from my house. It's really good reception. I don't want to get any YouTube copyright <laughs> strikes against me, so I'm going to shut that off. Um, on the AM band, let's get it to a station that's near us. We have very little AM reception out here. Very good at night, but in the daytime it's really horrible. Um, kind of get some reception. Let's see. Yeah. Turning out the light didn't help. I'm indoors, and indoors you're not going to get a good AM reception out here. Um, unless you're running a much bigger radio. Uh, we do get 7.20 AM in from Las Vegas. You can barely hear it. Again, it's a very tiny antenna. The antenna, this antenna is only for FM and shortwave. There's a ferrite bar in here for AM. Um, now, with the shortwave, here's what I've done to increase my chances of picking up stations with shortwave. Let's get it on a shortwave station. There's going to be a whole lot of noise in here because of the, the lights. I'm going to try and find a... Let's see if I can get WWV in. All right. That's the uh, WWV. That's the clock signal. Barely hear it in the background at the tone, daylight time is, blah, blah, blah. We're going to put this down for a sec, and I'm going to show you what I did. That's a regular spool of wire right here, okay? You can pick this up in any uh, hardware store. Radio Shack actually is where I got it before they became Cell Phone Shack. <laughs> I got an alligator clip on the end to it. I didn't even, wire, I didn't even solder it. I just ran the wire through it, tightened it down there, and I have a little bit of rubber band here. To hold it all together. Now this is nice kind of thick wire. You bend it in a shape and it actually stays. What I do with this, and I've done this in hotel rooms, okay, is I will take this and I will stick it up on the eave of a curtain rod or something. And outside, this could be thrown up into a tree or put on a branch. And you have a pretty decent antenna. Um, this is, I think, 25 feet. So, I mean, when you're out, you know, in a bug out situation, You've got a whole lot of room to stick out an antenna. Let's clip it on here. I bumped it. Let me put it back on frequency. You see, you're already getting a better reception. A lot louder. Okay, I'll put that down. Don't fall. And again, outdoors, this works a whole lot better. And when I put the antenna up a lot higher, it works a lot better. But regardless, it's a very capable shortwave receiver. The sensitivity on it is really good. And as you see, it's not drifting. Coordinated universal time. Yeah, you really can't hear it. But again, I'm under a bunch of uh, studio lights here and fluorescent lights, so you're really not going to get much reception. But anyway, that is the Grendig M400. Um, this is the one that lives inside my little portable, my little uh, vacation bug out bag. And I've been really pleased with it. I've been using it for about two years, and I actually have used this. It isn't something I just pack away and forget about. As a matter of fact, this is the case it comes in. It comes with a nice little case. It comes with headphones. If you're an audio snob, you're going to hate them. I could care less. Usually what I'm listening to is talk anyway. Um, but for music, it's okay. I mean, if you want a better set of headphones, you can get it. I store it in a Ziploc bag in the side of my bug out bag, and I also keep the batteries out. And let me reach over here again. I keep a spare set with me as well as another pack in the bag. So that's it, the Grundig M400. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.